Yo, what's going on YouTube? Onyx, back on this Ultimate Team, and a uh, new NFL Mover cards out today. First and foremost, 99 overall Darnell Dockett. For whatever reason, they put two 24-hour cards out. Um, 99 Darnell Dockett and 98 Jordan Cameron, I think. Yeah, whatever. And then the other two cards are basically useless, but we're going to see them anyway. Wow, 80, 99 Excel, 99 Strength. He's still pretty slow, though. Uh, they did move Darnell Dockett. Actually, they didn't move him. He is a right end. I was thinking of Clay's Campbell for whatever reason. But whatever. Darnell Dockett, 87 speed, 88 tackle is a little on the low side. 92 play rack isn't really the greatest either for a 99 overall card. But they excel the strength, the block shit, the power move. All looks really, really nice. Um, not for 1.2 mil, though. I don't know what this kid was thinking by putting him up for that much. But that's what people do when cards first come out. He even used them once, too. That's kind of crazy. Uh, tackle's a little on the low side. What else does this guy have? 83 finesse move. Crazy power move. I mean, he really doesn't look too special. He looks good, but he don't look that special. He definitely ain't one, one million special. He ain't even close to that. 99 hit power is nice, though. But uh, outside of that, Darnell Dockett looks pretty, I mean, savage. I, I like the 99 Excel, but that's really, that's about it, really. In all honesty, that's really about it. Everything else, uh, he's kind of right there with a bunch of other people. But, let's see what this Jordan Cameron look like. I haven't seen him yet at all. So, mm, he looks pretty decent. 91 speed, 90 route running, and he's 6'5", 98 catch, 95 catch in traffic. Uh, once again, he doesn't really have anything too spectacular. He just looks like a good overall tight end. 70 run block is good, 84 strength is good, 92 relief. I mean, he looks like a do-it-all tight end. 89 awareness, 95 jump at 6'5", 70 impact block. So he's a decent run blocker, really good receiver. I mean, Jordan Cameron also looks like a pretty, pretty, pretty nice card. But nothing too special. His price looks about right, though. Head up. Probably should be down here with Julius Thomas, but uh, he'll get there eventually. But... Other than these two, the only other people left uh, is really some some trash. I mean, I don't know. They might not be trash because that 93 overall uh, DT, I forgot his name, of NFL mover, is actually pretty good. So let's see if we can find this other guy. I think it's Kendall Langford. Kendall Langford got a new card, I think. Unless I'm tripping. Yeah, Kendall Langford got a new card and Corey Redding got a new card. And this Langford should be pretty cheap. Yes, yes he is. 91 overall Kendall Langford, 77 speed, 94 block shit, 94 tackle, 90 strength, 90 power move. Uh, yeah, really nothing special about this card at all. I would just stay away from this card in general. Because there's plenty of other DTs that are just as cheap as him that are better. Him and Jared Oldrick are both probably pretty trash DTs in, in actuality. Because both of their just stats just look horrible. I don't even want to go further into Kendall Langford because he just he looks really average. But let's see what this Corey Redding look like though. He is a 94 overall and he's really cheap for a 94 overall left end. What the hell? Is this that's garbage too? 93 expel, 81 speed. The 81 speed is kind of garbage. All right, I kind of understand why he's so cheap. I mean, he has really good block shedding, good strength, good power move, good tackle, good play rec. He's just slow. I mean. He's got, like, DT-type speed. He's got defensive tackle-type speed. With 93 Excel, 81 speed, I have defensive tackles that are that fast, literally. And most people want their defensive ends to definitely be faster. So I see why he's cheap, but he still looks like a good card. He looks like a really good run-stopping card. Um, he'll probably get into the backfield every now and then just because he has good block shed, good power move. Uh, really low hit power, though, but... He's really not a pass rusher at DN. He's more of a run-stopping DN. More of a 3-4 DN. Looks like a really good 3-4 DN, though. Especially for a cheap 3-4 defensive line. Budget 3-4 line. He looks like a really good 3-4 DN. Uh, but don't expect too much out of him. Good strength, good block shed, good tackle. Yeah, really good 3-4 DN. I wouldn't expect him to get in the backfield too often, though or to be able to catch most of these quarterbacks out these days. But, uh, 
Yeah, none of these cards really look too spectacular, honestly. Especially for two 24-hour cards to be out. And neither of the 24-hour cards really look that great. But, that's gonna do it for this one. I'm Onyx. And I'm out of here.